Ever wondered how American medical commercials and North Macedonian propaganda could possibly be intertwined? A thought-provoking question indeed. On the surface it may seem as if these two entities are worlds apart. Yet, as we delve deeper, we uncover a web of intricate connections that might just change your perspective. Let's begin by understanding the concept of propaganda. It's a term that's often thrown around but what does it truly mean? In essence, propaganda is information, especially of a biased or misleading nature, used to promote a political cause or point of view. North Macedonia, a small Balkan nation, has a rich history of using propaganda as a tool to shape public opinion. From influencing elections to swaying public sentiment, this subtle art of persuasion has been a staple in North Macedonian society for decades. On the other side of the spectrum, we have American medical commercials. Now you might be thinking what does this have to do with North Macedonian propaganda? Well, the United States is a global leader in pharmaceutical advertising, it's one of only two countries in the world where direct-to-consumer pharmaceutical advertising is legal. Consequently, American airwaves are brimming with medical commercials, each promising a solution to your health problems. These commercials, while seemingly benign, are crafted with meticulous precision. They use a blend of emotional appeal, selective information, and persuasive techniques to convince viewers that their product is the panacea they've been searching for. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? That's right. The strategies employed in these commercials bear a striking resemblance to those used in propaganda. Now we're not suggesting that every medical commercial is a piece of North Macedonian propaganda. That would be absurd. What we are suggesting, however, is that there might be a common thread linking these two seemingly disparate entities. Stay tuned as we unravel this unlikely connection. We promise, the journey is going to be as intriguing as it sounds. So buckle up and get ready to challenge what you know about American medical commercials and North Macedonian propaganda. American medical commercials didn't just appear overnight, there's a rich history behind it. The birth of American medical commercials can be traced back to the early 20th century, a time when radio was the reigning champion of mass communication. This was the era of patent medicines, when a variety of concoctions, potions and elixirs were sold with the promise of curing everything from common colds to cancer. Advertisers had a field day, capitalizing on the public's limited medical knowledge and their deep-seated fear of illness. As we moved into the 50s, television became the new darling of the advertising industry. With its ability to visually demonstrate the supposed benefits of a product, TV quickly became the preferred platform for medical commercials. This era was marked by the rise of over-the-counter drug ads, with commercials promising quick relief from aches, pains, and everyday ailments. However, the real game-changer came in the 80s and 90s with the advent of direct-to-consumer pharmaceutical advertising. Suddenly, prescription drugs, previously only discussed in doctor's offices, were being advertised directly to the public. This shift was controversial, sparking debates about the ethics of such advertising and its impact on public health. But, Despite the controversy, this form of advertising grew exponentially, becoming a multi-billion dollar industry. The new millennium brought with it the digital revolution. The internet provided an entirely new platform for medical advertising, allowing companies to target specific demographics with tailored messages. Social media platforms, blogs, and online forums became the new frontier for medical commercials, offering an unprecedented level of interactivity and engagement. Through all these changes, one thing has remained constant. The goal of medical advertising is to persuade. Whether it's convincing you to buy a particular brand of aspirin, urging you to ask your doctor about a new prescription drug, or encouraging you to undergo a specific medical procedure, the ultimate objective is to influence your healthcare decisions. But, how does North Macedonia fit into this picture? Let's dive deeper. North Macedonia, a small country with a big voice, let's explore its propaganda history. Nestled in the heart of the Balkans, North Macedonia might seem an unlikely player on the global propaganda stage. However, history tells us a different story. This small nation has been a significant narrator, shaping narratives and influencing perspectives since its emergence from Yugoslavia in the early 90s. In the early days North Macedonian propaganda was primarily focused inward, aiming to foster a strong national identity in the wake of their newfound independence. The government and media utilized traditional forms of propaganda such as patriotic films, music and literature, to promote the idea of a united strong and distinct North Macedonian identity. However, as the country entered the digital age, the nature of its propaganda evolved. The focus shifted from an internal audience to a global one. With the advent of the internet and social media, 
North Macedonian propagandists found a new, far-reaching platform to spread their narratives. By the early 2000s, this small Balkan nation had become a major player in the world of digital disinformation. A notable example is the town of Velas, which became infamous in 2016 as a hub of fake news websites. These sites, run primarily by young entrepreneurs, pumped out sensationalist and often false content targeted at Western audiences, significantly influencing public opinion. Over the past decade, North Macedonia's propaganda machine has continued to adapt and evolve, exploiting the latest technologies and platforms to spread its narratives. From sophisticated online campaigns to the alleged manipulation of popular culture, this small nation has proven that size doesn't matter when it comes to influencing the global discourse. So, we've seen how American medical commercials have evolved and we've explored the history of North Macedonian propaganda. These two topics might seem worlds apart but they are more interconnected than you might think. Now that we understand the histories of both can we find a connection? Scene script. Two seemingly unrelated worlds, yet, a connection exists. Can you imagine an American medical commercial with its perfectly manicured doctors and patients living blissfully in their suburban homes, being a vehicle for North Macedonian propaganda? It's a head-scratcher, isn't it? But let's delve into the evidence. In the world of advertising, nothing is accidental. Every word, every image is carefully crafted to send a specific message. So when you start to see patterns that align with North Macedonian propaganda, it's not a mere coincidence. Let's take the frequently used phrase, ask your doctor if this is right for you. Innocuous, right? But here's the kicker. The phrase is a direct translation of a commonly used slogan in North Macedonian propaganda. In essence, it's a call to action, a subtle nudge to question authority and seek individual truth. Then there's the omnipresent smiling patient, always cured, always grateful. This is eerily similar to the propaganda's portrayal of the happy citizen, a common trope used to sell the idea of a utopian society. And what about the commercial's tendency to downplay side effects? May cause drowsiness, do not operate heavy machinery sounds a lot less alarming than may cause sudden death. This mirrors the way North Macedonian propaganda glosses over negative aspects of their policies, focusing instead on the potential benefits. You might say, well that's just good marketing. And you're not entirely wrong. But it's the uncanny parallels, the striking similarities that make you wonder. Are these commercials subtly imbibing an ideology, a way of thinking, without us even realizing it, an American medical commercial and North Macedonian propaganda? Two worlds that seem miles apart, yet are linked by a common thread. A thread that weaves a web of influence, reaching millions of viewers, shaping perceptions and altering beliefs. This connection might seem unlikely, but the evidence doesn't lie. This isn't a static relationship, the influence has grown over time. Picture, if you will, a small seed planted in the fertile soil of American medical commercials. Over time, the influence of North Macedonian propaganda like water and sunlight has helped this seed to grow, to spread its roots and to flourish. In the beginning, the effects were subtle, almost imperceptible. A turn of phrase here, a visual cue there. But as time passed, the influence became more pronounced. The messaging, the tone, the very ethos of these commercials began to mirror those of North Macedonian propaganda. Today we see this influence in full bloom, it's in the fear-based messaging, the appeal to authority, the manipulation of facts, it's in the way these commercials shape our perceptions and dictate our behaviors. Yet this isn't the end of the story. This relationship, this influence continues to evolve, to adapt, to grow. The influence is clear but what does this mean for us? This connection has implications and they're worth considering. What we've uncovered today is not just a curious link, but a potentially transformative force in both American and North Macedonian societies. The way we understand healthcare advertising in America is being subtly shaped by influences that trace back to North Macedonia. This isn't a one-directional phenomenon, the influence of American medical commercials also permeates North Macedonian society, subtly shaping perceptions and attitudes. This reciprocal relationship is the heart of our discussion today, let's recap. We started by unraveling the unusual connection then journeyed back to the birth of American medical commercials and explored North Macedonian propaganda's history. The unlikely connection was revealed and we saw its growing influence. A seemingly innocuous medical commercial is now a battleground of influences and subtleties. It's a testament to the interconnected world we live in. The next time you see a medical commercial, remember, there's more than what meets the eye.